There have been two moon hoaxes. The first, sometimes referred to as the Great Moon Hoax, was perpetrated in 1835 by Richard Adams Locke, a writer hired by the newly established New York Sun. Having already dabbled in science fiction, it occurred to Locke to expand his activity in this direction without actually telling anyone. For his subject, he chose the astronomical expedition of John Herschel to the Cape of Good Hope. Beginning with the August 25th, 1835 issue of The Sun, Locke described in detail all kinds of fantastic discoveries having been made by Herschel. With a telescope of such power, he said, that he could see objects on the lunar surface as small as 18 inches across. In the second installment, the exotic variety of life supposedly found by Herschel was revealed, including a goat-like animal with a single horn and an amphibious creature of spherical form which rolled with great velocity across the pebbly beach. On August 29th, Locke broke the news that lunar intelligence had been found in the guise of Vespertilio Homo, or Batman. Finally, on August the 31st, he spoke of the discovery of yet higher beings and of the universal state of amity among all classes of lunar creatures. The articles generated huge interest and briefly the Sun became the best-selling newspaper in the world. The New York Times believed the reports both probable and possible. The New Yorker thought they heralded a new era in astronomy. Yale was said to be alive with staunch supporters, while according to another report, an American clergyman considered starting a collection for Bibles for the lunar inhabitants. The fact that the moon hoax may not have been intended to be taken seriously at all has been argued by science historian Michael Crow, who cites an account of the affair written by William Griggs in 1852. According to Griggs, we have the assurance of the author in a letter published some years since in the New World that it was written expressly to satirize the unwarranted and extravagant anticipations upon this subject. Yet the irony is, the hoax failed because the public had been primed for so long to expect intelligent life on other worlds. The second moon hoax is the more modern claim that the Apollo missions never landed on the moon. Sadly, this is born of the same kind of scientific ignorance and naivety that allowed Locke's tale to take root. It may seem incredible that in the 21st century a considerable number of people in developed nations could entertain the notion that humans haven't visited the moon. To believe, as then NASA administrator Sean O'Keefe put it, something that is, on its face, asinine. Yet there remains a need to counter scientific illiteracy and the belief in pseudoscience of all descriptions. While attending the Cape Canaveral premiere of the IMAX version of Apollo 13 in November 2002, Tom Hanks said the film industry had a responsibility to promote historical literacy. He took a jab at the 1978 movie Capricorn One, which had NASA's first manned mission to Mars being faked on a soundstage. We live, he said, in a society where there is no law in making money, in the promulgation of ignorance, or in some cases, stupidity. <laughs>